Hey guys, in today's video we are going to talk about histamines. Is histamine our friend or is it our enemy? Histamines are responsible for all the allergies like food allergies, skin allergies, some drug allergy, hay fever or any other allergy that you could think of. So the main question is why do we have histamines in our body if it causes all these allergies? Well, histamines are usually our friends. Let's first know how they get secreted in our body. When any antigen or any foreign particle enters in our body, macrophages process the antigen and on a silver platter called MHC class 2, present it to T helper cells. T helper cells then secrete cytokines like interleukin 4 to stimulate B cells. B cells then multiply and differentiate to form plasma cells and plasma cells secrete IgE antibodies against that allergen. Now another cells of our immune system called mast cells which are present in connective tissue throughout the body, they have the receptors for these IgE antibodies. Specific IgE antibodies binds to mast cells and mast cells start secreting histamines and other inflammatory molecules. Let's talk about the functions of histamines. Histamines bind to histaminic receptors present in our body and causes dilation of blood vessels and increases their permeability so that WBCs and other protective substances can leak through to reach the site of infection. Histamines causes bronchoconstriction to protect our airways from other harmful substances. Histamines act as a signaling molecule. It sends signal to brain to stay awake and sends signal to parietal cells in stomach to secrete gastric acid. Now that you know how histamines help to keep our brains stay awake, you can think of why the common side effect of antihistamines is drowsiness. Ok, so it was about how histamines are our friend when it comes to protect us from infection. Now let's see how histamines become our enemy. In case of allergies, histamines start overreacting to harmless substances not just infectious. This is when histamines become our enemy. Leaky blood vessels cause congestion in the nose and swelling in any other part of the body. Histamines act with nerve to produce itching. Histamines can cause vomiting and diarrhea in case of food allergy. Histamines can cause severe bronchoconstriction which can make it difficult to breathe. And the most dangerous of all, anaphylaxis, which is a severe life-threatening allergic reaction and should be treated in time. We will talk about anaphylaxis in detail in some other video. In this video, let, let's just see how can we stop these overreacting histamines. But before that, here is a quick disclaimer. That this video is only for educational purposes and you should not take any drugs without consulting with your doctor. Now let's get back to the treatment. Well, we can obviously use antihistamines to block the histaminic receptors. We can use steroids to reduce the inflammation caused by histamines. And a shot of epinephrine should be given immediately in case of anaphylaxis, which can be deadly otherwise. After all our discussion on histamines, what do you guys think of our relationship with them? Do we love them or do we hate them? Well, we don't know. All we can say is it's complicated. Alright guys, so this was it for our video on histamines. If you got a little bit of knowledge from this video, like this video and share it with your friends and subscribe our YouTube channel. Also tell me in the comments about the topic on which you want a video next. See you next time.